Hey, what's up? It's Mal DeMarco here, and today I'm gonna be taking you through my queue with Cosmo. I'm gonna be showing you my watch list on Netflix. All of the good, the bad, and the downright embarrassing. Now, it's two in the morning, and you're still awake. What comforting AF show do you watch to help lull yourself into sleep? Avatar The Last Airbender. I love Appa. Best part, this show is adorable. And at only 20 minute episodes, it really packs in amazing life lessons that you can apply to your everyday life and situations you might face. It really has it all for you. But once you've binged The Last Airbender, you've gotta watch Legends of Korra. I mean, oh, that ending, my favorites. Truly, the whole series has really amazing life lessons that apply to everyday situations you might face, especially Uncle Iroh, who is so unassuming and always has such great advice. And the episodes are only 20 minutes each. It'll easily put you to sleep. You just finished a series, and now you feel lost, empty. It's like you've lost your best friend. What show did this to you? definitely dark. They included sign language in this episode. Really, this show is one of my favorites because I think it's the best written about time travel. Even though it's not specifically about time travel, but more about how everything is just interconnected within different time eras and how the city of Winden in and of itself is really screwed up forever in its own space making it impossible to get out of. I highly suggest you watch it, it's mind-bending. You're at a dinner party with a bunch of fancy, brilliant people and you really want to impress them. What do you say if they ask for a documentary recommendation? See, for me, I'd have to pick District 9. No, I'm totally kidding. In all seriousness, I probably would pick Unnatural Selection. Now. The show definitely was not my favorite. In fact, I hated it. But it would make me look a lot smarter to bring those issues to the table. All in all, the show covers the idea of CRISPR gene editing, which is a new device, essentially, that allows physicians to edit your unborn, unborn DNA. Incredibly dangerous stuff. And it didn't really flesh out any sort of consideration of perspective from various communities and other cultures. There was actually no mention of the deaf community at all, which is what I would want to talk about. CRISPR gene editing is modern eugenics that we are all really normalizing. Now, CRISPR gene editing in the future could cause a modern day genocide. It could cause a genocide of the deaf community, leaving us without deaf culture and without sign language which is of huge concern to me. The big question, should it be legal? Should we allow this technology to control us? Is really the big question here. It definitely would make for an interesting dinner conversation. I'd recommend you check it out. It's a Friday night in isolation, but still, you want to turn it all the way up with your Netflix queue. So, what are you watching? Definitely cheer. I mean, okay. I know, I cried so many times through the show. I get it, but still, it gets you turned to the max, feeling like, okay, not just tonight, but every day, I've gotta make it to the max. And that is energy worthy of turning it up on a Friday night. So, it's Wednesday. You haven't been off your couch since Friday. What show are you watching? Let me tell you something. It is definitely Sense8. I mean, oh, after this episode, how could you stop watching? Look at this. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. I know what you're all thinking. And I'm thinking the exact same thing. Simply, wow, this part. I've never seen anything like it before. And it definitely makes you feel some type of way. But in all seriousness, I love the Wachowski sisters. They are by far two of my favorite creators in Hollywood. And how they were able to develop Sense8, how they were able to write, 
with this world of six to eight people in mind, respecting all of their individual connections and consideration for each of their cultures. Oh, it's amazing. I can't even explain any more about it. Just watch it. So you just got dumped by someone beyond stupid. Tonight, you've decided to stay home and wallow in your own sadness. What's the best movie to watch to make you feel better after a breakup? I would definitely have to say End of the World. Now, I know, that show is trash. It is utter trash, but it's so good. We're watching two young teenagers, both with their own internal struggles and their problems and all their issues. I feel like watching, you have to really consider from their perspective why they are who they are the way they are. I always think that makes you feel a little bit better, or at least to know that we're all just up beings in the end anyway. Sometimes it's easier, instead of the rage and the obsession, to just accept someone the way that they are with their different background and their different journey, whatever it might be. Sometimes it's easier just to step back and put everything into perspective. Oh, you're having a girls night out and you're looking for a show that's gonna remind you of all of your friends. Say no more. It is Deaf You on Netflix. Now, I executive produced the show and I am incredibly, incredibly proud of the show we've created. But let me tell you something. Now, all of my friends are deaf, or at least a majority of them are deaf. And I've known them my entire life. As a crew, we went to Gallaudet University, the world's only deaf university in Washington, DC. I went for five years. Yes, five years. I'll admit, I was almost the Van Wilder of my college. But at least I left with two degrees. Now, I remember our time in college. Oh, incredible. My friends and I would always talk about the wild experiences that we had and how much we needed a reality TV series. You know, our experiences, the crazy things that would happen on campus, the juicy stories. We needed cameras. And now, finally, I am so incredibly honored to say that I had the opportunity to produce something like that, something I've been dreaming of for 10 years. Of course, I've seen the show all the way through, but I just watched the new trailer that's out, and I, oh, I almost cried because I truly feel like that's my life. It's unbelievable to see my experience on the screen. It's so good. So go watch it. This is the first time you and your bae have ever Netflix and chilled. So what are you watching? I think I'd have to pick sex education. I know you're all making some wild misassumptions right now. But here's why I'd pick it. The show, even though it's about high school kids, really goes through so much. I mean, these kids are going through everything from hormones to high school friendships and relationships and parent issues, all culminating in one really great show. I also think it's really easy to pause and relate a little anecdote to your partner about maybe something you went through. So it's a great way to learn about your partner too and they might learn a lot about you, especially what happened during your high school years. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Cosmo and be sure to comment below and tell us what show you're binging right now. Also, keep an eye out for Deaf You. It's gonna be so good.